Hi, this is something little different than my other videos. I have added this my old photo which I took in Lahti, Finland and it has an emission cider. And then I have this big box here and I made a little hole to that box. So basically it became a camera obscure. The dimensions of that box are just my poor imagination, so it's highly possible that it don't just work. The hole can be too big or the back valve can be too close. Or maybe cyclists just can't do this kind of photography. In real world, when you have similar kind of setup, it works a way that the light rays uh, which goes through the hole will project to that back valve of that box an image of the landscape that is visible from the hole. I hope that makes sense. So the question is how physically accurate cyclist render engine actually is. Is it possible in cyclists to do that kind of photography? That's what we are going to find out soon. So no cheating, just poor experimenting. Let's see what happens with 10,000 samples. Yeah. The rendering has started, now we just need to wait until there is something that we can call to something. Okay, it's clearly sure that there is actually happening something that was expected. <coughs> I already can see some sort of picture forming into that back wall. I'm trying to change little bit the setting so it's more clear what's going on there. The settings I changed were the color settings in Blender Scene tab. I added more exposure and changed little bit the curve so it's more clear what's going on. More light basically. Okay, now we are reaching the 10,000 limit and I think it's not enough for us. I'll change the setting to 50,000 samples. Also, I'm going to speed up little this video playback, so it's not going to be so long video. Now, at this point you might have noticed that the picture is actually upside down. Of course, there is a reason for that. and. It's very logical and simple after a little bit of thinking. The reason is that light always goes straight line. So if the light goes through that little hole, it has no other way to express itself than just going like that and form the mirrored picture. There is also a reason why the image is so blurry in that my render. The reason for that is of course the size of my aperture that little hole. If I made it bigger, the image will be more blurred, and if I made it smaller, the image will be sharper. But I had to make some sort of compromise with that because smaller aperture means less light, and that in cycles means longer render times. So I rendered this one in 30 minutes. If I made the hole little smaller, it could add horse more rendering for me, and that can't be very wise. Okay, what's the conclusion of this little experiment? I think it can't be more clear now that we can actually simulate physical light behavior with Blender correctly. Thanks for watching.